And there is also a hair sticking up. All right, I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what we have so far. I'm gonna wait till we get a few more people on and then I'll uh, actually start. I have a, oh yeah, here's my little welcome back tag. Yeah, welcome back. That's how I was gonna start the video, but I started it facing the wrong way. There we go, all right. Yeah, welcome back. I wrote my fancy cursive. That's a lie. I never actually learned how to do cursive. That was just a guess. I think it looks all right. All right, so basically what we have here is my attempt at drawing a sleeve and a glove. Now, in the live feed before, I only did the red glove. Oh, hello, everyone. Uh, yeah, so in the live feed before, I only did the glove here. I added a tiny bit more detail actually here. If you look, you can actually see I, I added some more stitches, highlights here. Uh, so basically what I did here is like my very first attempt at cloth, essentially. I mean, besides like the picture I showed before, but that was literally just a flat color. Excuse me. So I don't think that counts. Uh, so yeah. All right. We, ha oh yeah, and someone last time said like draw denim and I was like, I can't draw denim. I think I accidentally drew denim, you know? So uh, if you see this, <laughs> I took your advice. I mean, unintentionally, but I did. I'm gonna move my light over a bit, get a better view on it. I did forget to actually uh, message the, the Facebook group to tell you guys I was starting, but I did do one on YouTube. All right, so uh, yeah, I have, um, a little handful, or, you know, a big handful. Actually, I need two hands to hold it. These are all the paints I plan to use. I separated them from the box so I don't have to dig around, try to figure it out then. I'll try to figure it out now. So what I was thinking I would do is since it's a hawk, I wanted it to look relatively, like, you know, hawk colored, but uh, kind of give it almost like a little flare. Oh, that was interesting. Uh, yeah, so I have blue here and I'm going to mix that with white and a little bit of orange and get a bunch of different colors It'll be like the reflection off of his jacket and whatever is in the background onto the wings here. I think Yeah, mostly orangey red in this part of the wing like where the actual muscle is or like the actual wing is then the feathers are gray That's important for me to remember. I actually yeah, I had to look up a reference because I've only ever drawn them in black and white. All right, so I'm going to start with this round. This is just like my super cheap brush, but it works pretty well. So I'm gonna start with that and I'm gonna put the palette here. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is cracking way more than yesterday. Is your cool car fixed now? Yes, it is actually, it was fixed. I'm pretty happy. I am very happy that I get to actually drive to school again, you know, all cool and such. All right, so I have some burnt sienna. What is that like? I don't know why they don't just say like <laughs> the colors. You never really, I guess you kind of do. They have like very creative names for very ordinary colors for paint I've noticed. Like violet rose, or violet rose, violet flower field or something. It's just purple. Just say like dark bluey purple. Maybe that takes longer to write. Uh, do you sell your artwork? I most definitely do if you're interested. Uh, yeah, you can go to my, my Instagram or you can go to archboldvlogs at hotmail.com. You know, I probably just gave the wrong thing. I'm really good at this. Yeah, I do. If you go to my Instagram, which is uh, Steven Draws, the same thing except all put together instead of an S, it's a, uh, it's a Z. And I post a lot of my un, you know, a lot of the art that doesn't reach YouTube goes to my Instagram. So, you know, there's uh, uh, some interesting content there, I think, that you guys might like. You know, not that you have a choice. It's like you have to like it. All right. All right. So essentially what I'm doing here is similar to what I did with the glove and just got some, oops, I'm scooting the chair around behind me without thinking. Uh, basically, I'm getting some base colors down where I think all the shadows on the wing would be. And I've established here my little sun drawing that you guys can kind of see. It's got like the little sun rays coming down. Most of the shadow is going to be on this side of the wing. 
Like there's going to be some here, but mostly here because the bird's body is going to be creating it. So the wings are going to be more orange. The body's going to be kind of a brown gray color. Uh, yeah, and then I essentially, I'm just, yeah, I'm basically just doing this uh, first because, you know, it's a very deep and bright color. And if I think it's too, you know, bright and deep, I can just paint over it again. It's nice to see everyone here again. I hope everyone had a good day. Uh, let's see. Hello, everyone. Uh, oh, yeah. I see. Z. Yeah. Well, do I say Z? Did I say Z? I usually say Z. I made fun of because of my pronunciation of words. Like, I say Vaz and Z. Usually I say Z. And, uh, you know, all like I say things like, you know, proper, but I guess it's not technically like the North American pronunciation. It's more European. I didn't say it with a European accent, though. So is it really? Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, what do you guys think about this situation? Because apparently it's a really big deal. Why do we call like I'm sure most of you. Most of you call it this. Um, why do we call it Nike? You know, the shoe brand? I mean, obviously. Why is it Nike? We don't... It's not called a bikey. We don't ride a bikey. Like, if we say we're going to ride a bike, it would be Nike, wouldn't it? I don't know. <laughs> uh, typical YouTuber strategy. Strike converse, or controversy. And get everyone talking about it. Hmm. All right. So essentially, I'm just going to finish doing this. I don't know why I say essentially so much. Maybe it's my thinking word. You know how some people say um or uh? I say essentially and then I make no sense. Yeah. So I'm going to keep filling in with this dark orange color just where I think some highlights might be. Not a lot where the feathers are because the feathers are going to be mostly gray. Uh, and the legs are going to be kind of like a yellowy gray as well. So not as much there, but there will be some back here. I say bikey. Wait, bike what? But do you do you say bikey? Is that what you is that what you're telling me? Is that what you dare to say on my live feed? Uh, you're lucky my my moderators are lenient. <laughs> if you say bikey, I don't know. I think there's a there must be a, a a law against saying that, saying things like that. No. I don't know. What do you guys think? No, just messing with you. Hmm. I don't know. I think you convinced me. Pretty sure you say bikey now. Everyone will remember you as someone who says bikey from now on. All right, so... I didn't really need to add the orange up here because it's mostly going to be gray. Also, the beak is going to be like a beigey yellow. Uh, let's see, I probably said bike when I was a little kid. Yeah, I mean, I've noticed that like when you give like a younger kid the task of naming something, it always has an E, like a Y or an IE at the end of it. Like, for example, when my siblings had stuffed animals and they would name them, they would... uh. They would always have like an IE, like, uh, what was it? One of their stuffed animals was named Yappy, and we named our dog Chewy. Maybe it's just like a cute sound. The IE makes it sound cuter. I never noticed it. We, I thought we called him Chewy because he chewed on things, which he did. We found his, like, when he was still teeth. By the way, for like, for the people who don't own dogs or haven't like had a, a puppy, I didn't know they lost their teeth like humans for some reason. I thought they just like, I don't know where what I thought happened, but that was not fun. That was not fun stepping on. It was worse than Legos. It was like Lego times a million stepping on pointy little dog tooth. <sighs> it's Chewy for Chewbacca. Oh yeah, because originally our dog actually was brown and brown and black, but... Ever since he got, like, one haircut, he's he's gray and light brown. Yeah, no kidding, ouch. Uh, all right, that feels like it's a good amount. 
Like, that feels like it's a decent amount anyway. All right, so, uh, all right. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more so I can build out like the actual shape just really quickly. This is mostly gonna be painted over, but that's fine. Uh, again, this is literally just shadows. And while I'm doing this, I might as well add a little bit more. What did my mother say? Oh, it's Chewy for Chewbacca, I see. Uh, let's see. Nike is from Greek mythology. Nike Victory is the daughter of the Titan Palace and the, god and the goddess Styx, and the sister of Kratos' strength. Be a force and Zeus. Oh, and Zeal, or Zealous, Zeal. So, is it pronounced Nike? Is it? Is it actually pronounced Nike? I had like a whole debate about this. Was I wrong? Oh, if I'm wrong, I'm never going to admit it to any of my friends. I'm just going to pretend a conversation never happened. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Hmm. All right. Not as much shadows here and mostly on this side because of the way the bird's body is going to be. And I'm already, you can already kind of see, I'm building out the shape of feathers because, as you know, some birds tend to have feathers. You know, what, what bird doesn't have feathers? Like, I'm thinking, uh, penguins don't. Like, it, I mean, does it count as feathers? It kind of does. Do any birds not have feathers? Hmm. That's a weird, that's a weird topic. Now I'm fixated on that. I'm very, uh, I'm asking a lot of really weird questions today. You guys are, <laughs> you guys are learning something from the, from the comments, if you're reading them. Let's see. Yes, that is the pronunciation. Oh, no one heard that. No, no, it's, it's, <laughs> I've been calling it Nike. I was, I was trying to be like a rebellious or something. I don't know. I just thought, I really did think it was Nike, like just Nike. Because that makes sense. All right, I'm going to get some brown now and finish off the shadows. Actually, I think we have enough shadow for now, so what I'm going to do is get a light brown and start building in like a mid-tone. That feels like it's a good move, right? I could pretend that's a good move. That is exciting. Walkthrough of your house, we will watch it. Oh, yeah, I forgot we were doing that. Or not me, but uh, they were doing that. I've already been in the house. I wonder what it's like now. You know, it's been a while since we've been banished from, from the construction site. We, huh, we really probably shouldn't have been there. Whatever. They were cool about it. No one like fell through a, fell through a beam or anything. So, you know, that's good. Oh no, that's fine. I think, um, yeah, whatever. Can't wait to see the progress. Yeah, it's... I'm actually pretty excited because I haven't seen any either. Or any recently. Any very recent progress. I wonder if they have, like, the cement port. No, they, they'd have to do that at the very end, I think. Yeah. Ooh, excuse me. I, uh... Whenever I talk, I guess... It's uh, whenever I start talking out of nowhere, I seem to, I'm not, I'm not even like gassy. It just feels like there's a bubble in my throat. That's my excuse. That's what I, that's what I'm uh, apologizing for, by the way. I'm not sure if you guys could hear that. I don't think my headphones are connected. No, because if they are, like whenever I connect my headphones for a live feed, it always sounds like really weird. Like, someone's talking through a walkie-talkie that they just put through a garburator. And, like, the garburator is running at the same time as the walkie-talkie is, <laughs> is, like, on. Yeah, that's that's probably an accurate description of what my, my live feeds sound like when I forget my headphones connected. Do I sound like, uh, like a robot? Do I? No. Do I? Do I sound like a robot right now? I hope not. It's hard to tell sometimes. 
Uh, what's it? Oh, a garburator. I think I just called it. No. From what I think is the right way to say it. A gar it's like the garbage disposal thing in like a sink. You know how it like blends up food? We don't have one. I don't think I've ever actually seen someone use one. But from what I understand, it's like a... It's like a little blender for your sink. Is that what it's called? Is it called a garburator? Or did I just completely botch the name? I, is that right? I, I, that might be... I, that, that's probably wrong. <laughs> Feel free to let me know. Oh, by the way. So... Oh, that is right. Blender for the sink is a good description. Yeah, that's basically what it is. It's just in case you, like... You know, don't want to buy a drain cleaner. So... This is like, you can already kind of see like the colors I'm going for. Oh, we have one. I just call it a garbage disposal. Oh, okay. Maybe it's like a like brand name, like uh, how some people call like tissues Kleenex instead of, hmm. Oh, okay. It's called a garbage disposal in the USA. Let's see. Oh, macerator. I mean, that makes sense. All right. Uh, or... How much you want to bet I just mispronounced the <laughs> the correction of my pronunciation. Hmm. I'm just going to pretend that I didn't do that. All right. So essentially what I'm going to do, and that's four for essentially count, uh, is the claws are going to come up, just the front claws here, here, and here. Be like he's gripping onto his finger. This foot is going to be going down and underneath because it's, this claw is up on his hand here and I'm kind of I'm just gonna scratch some of that paint away my painting process is kind of chaotic but it's fast so yeah claw on top of his hand here claw underneath here ah <sighs> all right so actually it's probably a good idea for me to try to add like more highlights so that's what I'm gonna do and this tiny little paint tube is on the <laughs> in its last little uh you know, little bit of paint in there. I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to say on his last life, but that doesn't really make any sense. Uh, I'm running out. In the UK, it's called one of those fans in the sink that chews up your food waste or fingers if you push too far. You know, I think that's a better name. From now on, that's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> Fancy things in the sink that chews up your food. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, I like I legitimately never seen one used. Does it just like blend up the food and send it down the drain? Or is there like a special like trap that it puts the food? No, because it would just go straight down the drain, I would imagine. It's not like that foreign of a concept to me. I've just never really thought about it before. Aren't you guys glad you joined the live? I'm talking about Garbery. Oh, wait, what's it called? Fancy things that chew up your food and your fingers if you push in too far. We're talking about those. All right. Uh, I'm out, oh, by the way. You know, I'm not really sure if I need to, to narrate this, but because I like to, I am adding more highlights, as you might be able to tell. And I'm just going to use this stick to blend it because this is already kind of covered in paint, and I don't want to grab a whole other paintbrush. So... I'm just going to start making like the shape of like where I think the feathers are going to go here. This might be a three part. This is probably going to be a three part uh, live feed or in the next live feed, I'll just show you how it turns out because I am somewhat forgetful. And by somewhat, I mean like ridiculously forgetful, especially concerning like, excuse me, uh, <laughs> live feeds apparently. Well, you guys know you are very aware. Uh, yeah, it breaks up the food so it won't clog the drain, but not everything can be put in it, but mostly food waste in a bucket next to the sink stain. Uh, oh, on the safe side, clogged drains are no fun. No, they're not. We we used to have like a sink plunger, actually. It was like a little toilet plunger for our sink. That was, uh, that's the closest thing we've had to a garbage, uh, garbage disposal thing in our sink. Sink plunger. I mean, it worked. All right, that's starting to look like feathers. If you squint your eyes, that is. We have a compost bucket for the food. Only water can go in ours. Yeah, uh, you know, 
Sometimes food accidentally gets in there, but it's very rare. And you know, if you cram it in far enough, it's hard to tell, right, mom? If you, <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just tempting, <laughs> tempting fate. Probably shouldn't. There. And I'm going to add, actually, I brought this out. I've never actually used it, but it's like acrylic medium. So I think what it does is just adds, like, basically makes your paint longer. Okay. It's like really stuck. I'm going to try to open it. Not with my teeth, I swear. I, I swear that's not what I'm doing. All right, I opened it. That, it had like a permanent seal in there. Not permanent, because I opened it but it really tried to be permanent. It was like just randomly full of air. Oh, you guys can't see. Oh yeah, you can, in the corner. You can see in the corner. And I'm pretty sure I just used that right, I think. It feels like it's glue. Let's see. Uh, oh, I see, yeah. All right, I see what you guys are talking about. Still. <laughs> I started a conversation on garbage disposal. That's how interesting my live feeds are. Yeah, come on, come on, guys, let's go watch the live feed. And I'm just talking about garbage. Hmm. All right. Very slowly building up the highlights. And pretty soon, I'm going to move on to this part of his face because it looks kind of funky looking. Yeah, all right. All right, so that's pretty, actually, that's pretty much the color scheme that I want already. Well, thank you guys all very much for what? No, I'm just kidding. I'm not done. I am very much not even close to being done. But I will be done soon, hopefully. Hopefully soon. No, not like super soon, because I do want to, I do want to have a live feed, but like, you know, within the next couple hours, I think it'll be done. And then I'll post a an update on it, either on my Instagram channel or on my next live feed, which is gonna be soon, because I already have another uh, painting planned. I'm on a roll, kind of. I'm on what could be considered a roll. I haven't posted in a while, and then I just randomly started posting lots. I mean, it's better than not posting. It's way better than not posting. I think it's the opposite of not posting. Obviously. All right, so for the feathers, they're basically just gonna be like a, a light gray. But while I wait for that to dry, I still have to build up more browns in here. And then I can move on to the face. So the shadows, and I just added, I said the shadows and then I added a highlight. Whatever. I said shadows, you guys. Yeah, that's fine. That's probably gonna be good for now. So what I'm gonna do is start adding, or actually I probably should wait for this to like completely dry because I, if I rush it too much, it's gonna kind of mess it up. I have, a, I have a problem with rushing through a painting and then being surprised when it, <laughs> when it immediately starts to look funky. You know, I just need to not give up. I don't plan on it. Oh, and some people were asking why the live feed before, not not like yesterday's live feed, but the live feed right before that white got taken down. It uh it did not go my way. I like I literally painted half of the side of the bear's face again because I realized it was completely unsymmetrical, which is fine. I mean, at least I realized what was wrong with it, but Probably not the best content for you guys. Oh, that, that painting we were watching him do this whole time? He just restarted the whole thing. Yeah. Quality content. That's what that is. <laughs> All right. So that looks like it's turning. It's actually starting to look like a falcon. Or what's it called? A peregrine falcon? Uh, wait. No, it was a. It's a hawk. That's what it was. It's not a it's not a falcon, it's a hawk. I, I keep calling it a falcon because it's uh 
what the guy or what the arm is wearing, like the red glove, is called a falcon glove, according to one of the comments. Unless I just mispronounced it or said it wrong. I'm pretty sure that you said it was falcon glove. Oh, and I'm just uh, doing a tiny bit of painting here. I had an interesting idea for Halloween with my friends. Unfortunately, it didn't happen, and I am very disappointed. However, we're still going to do it just on another day. We were going to go to the mall, and uh, they have this really cool go-karting track thing there. It's like three, three floors, and you drive all around. It's pretty fast. But me and my friends were going to dress up like Mario, Luigi, Toad, all of the characters from like the Nintendo... Uh, what's it called? Ah, uh, why can't... Mario Kart. From Mario Kart. We're going to do, like, Mario Kart, but in real life. So that's going to happen soon. I think that might be, like, the coolest video I ever put out. <laughs> Mario Kart in real life. Hmm. <laughs> then it'll just be, like, a video of me getting completely demolished <laughs> on the track. I'm not very fast at go-kart. I mean, I'm pretty... I'm pretty fast... The, the issue was, when I was doing go-kart, the way, like, they didn't really disclose it, but the, I mean, I probably should have guessed. It was a time trial and not what place you were in. So I was holding my place and, like, slowing down so I could, like, make sure I held my place. I didn't want to have any mistakes happen. Turns out, it didn't matter that I was, like, ahead of anyone. <laughs> I, I had, like, one of the slowest laps. You're fast till your dad hits you. Yeah, I'm glad you remembered that. I want everyone to remember that forever. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, he didn't mean to. At least that's what he says. Well, I saw a little bit of, saw a little bit of, uh, what's it called? Not murderous, but like vengeful. <laughs> I don't know. There was a look in his eye. And then he passed me and waved. Like, hold on. I'll, I'll mimic it like in front of the canvas, but it, it's not the same. Just imagine like a, it was like a sarcastic, like, <laughs> see you later, chump, like this. Like the, ah, uh, I will remember forever, dad. If you see this, if you see this live feed, I will remember. That's why I want to go again partially, because I got to kick his butt. I have to kick his butt <laughs> at go-karting. Oh, as you guys can see while I'm talking about, you know, go-karting. <laughs> getting rammed into by my dad. I really wish I got that on video. It was pretty funny. Funny, not not funny, haha. -ha, more like funny, traumatizing. No, I'm just kidding. It was uh, it was pretty fun. I definitely do want to go again. Go again. Yeah. So you guys can kind of see I'm building up like it's starting to look like a hawk. I mean, like the glove in the arm looks good, and then it's like a. That's my that's my best raspberry noise I can make without using my hands. Or I could like nah. Whoever came up with like the name raspberry for making like a fart noise with your mouth probably just was uh, like embarrassed to say the word fart. I would imagine. What did I say? That sounds like something I'll need to film. Yeah, you should film it. That's just beautiful. Nice work on the glove. Thank you very much. I'm glad you like it. That's actually oops. So, yeah, just again, now that there's a few more people, in, I was talking to, I think, one person before. Um, yeah, this is literally my first time ever trying to... Yeah, raspberry is a polite. It's the most polite way you can say it. Uh, this is my first time ever trying to paint cloth. I mean, for my first time, I think it, like, I think it can pass as, like, a rough cloth. Like, if... I mean, he, he trains Falcons, so... I mean, like, not trains, but happens to have one on him at the moment. So you would imagine, like, he probably wouldn't wear his best clothes. Yeah, what do you mean it looks a little a little rough? Of course it's rough. He has a, he has a bird with knife feet. Feet of knives. That's kind of weird, actually, when you think about it. A lot of animals have, like, pointy knife feet. We have to make our knives... We have to make our tools, but not like cats and not not really dogs. That's just for grit. Birds. A lot of birds have 
pointy little knife feet. I mean, predatory birds have like knife feet for catching, catching a uh, prey. Knife feet. I just it just clicked in my head what I was saying. What a ridiculous. Whatever you guys are used to it. Yeah. It would be so cool if, if humans had talons. It would also be like. <laughs> it would be really weird, actually. I think I might have a little bit more trouble trying to paint with bird talon hands. Looking good. Thank you very much, Noreen. I appreciate that very much. I'm glad you think it's looking good. You are... You're mistaken. No, I'm just kidding. I think it's turning out all right since I just started what? Well, I started painting 20 minutes ago. 20-ish minutes ago. So if I can start getting like the details in, it'll start looking like a bird by the end of the live feed, I think. Or like a detailed bird anyway. I got the colors down and that's basically what I was trying to do at the beginning anyway. Oh, by the way, uh, to the subscriber who sent me this mug here, let's see, paint water, do not drink. I really do appreciate that actually. It's like my favorite cup for paint water now. I can, I, okay. This is like the dumbest thing, but like, I mean, it's not that dumb. It's just kind of funny. No, it's dumb. It's dumb. I managed to drink out of it anyway, because I used to like drink hot chocolate and make teas and stuff while I, while I painted. And I, it's in a very similar shaped mug. And apparently I can't read fast enough before I drink paint water, but you know, yellow paint doesn't taste too bad. No, actually, I'm pretty sure that's like the most dangerous one. Do not, do, I mean, obviously I probably don't have to say this. Do not drink yellow paint. It's, it tasted like, uh, it tasted like acid, like how I would imagine like vinegar to taste if it didn't taste like vinegar. I don't know. It was not pleasant. Yummy. Exactly. It, <laughs> It was not lemon flavored. My day was ruined. <laughs> I'm glad you liked the mug. Oh, thank you very much, Chris. Actually, yeah, I lost the note that said who it was from. I was trying to figure it out. So yeah, thank you very much. I don't think I, I said thank you to you personally, but I do really, really appreciate it. It's like actually my favorite mug. Do not drink yellow paint. But any other paint is, yeah, exactly. Like, maybe not like, hmm, what, what were the ones that, okay, white paint and yellow paint are off the table. Any other paint is like, is A-OK, -okay, you know? <laughs> I don't think you're a true artist until you've taken a swig of paint water. Yeah, <laughs> that's true, you know? If you're not painting the inside of your mouth, then, you know, what's the point of painting at all? That was a, that was interesting. It was an interesting experience. I've never tasted something quite so surprisingly gritty. Actually, it's kind of, it tasted kind of like, or it felt, I guess the texture was kind of like, uh, how I would imagine drinking mud water to be. I've never done that. Hey, that's going to be my next video, drinking mud water. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah all right so i did make it a little bit too bright in here but i also want to connect his body like together so it doesn't look so separated i'm gonna add shadows here again because i did just kind of take some of the contrast away so what i'm gonna do is mix some of that white with uh with black get a bit of a gray here and try to you know, mix it together, like so, like so, yeah. I wonder how many times I say that. I'm very, I'm very uh, self-aware about all the repetitive things that I say. I think everyone might have, maybe it's just me. You know, I don't, I don't really hear anyone saying like, essentially this, essentially this. Essentially, another 10 other times. Am I the only other person that says essentially like that? Maybe. 
And if you say you, if you say you do, you're lying. All right, good night, can't stay awake, 10 p.m. here. Oh, good night, Holly. Well, I'm glad you got to join the live feed. Yeah, it's, uh, well, what time is it here? I think it's like 8. Is it 8? Yeah, it's exactly 8 o'clock here. Uh, I'm not counting, it's in your mind. Uh, essentially, yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> hmm. Not supposed to agree with me. Can't believe you guys would say that. 3 a.m. in the UK. You guys are, yeah, I said this before, you guys are up really late to be watching me paint a picture of a bird. You know the saves, right? You guys can, like, check this later. If you, okay. If you guys really want to watch this, you're more than welcome, obviously. However, if you guys are, like, like staying up till, like, 4 in the morning, get some sleep. It's still there. It's still there. However, if you miss a live feed, you're morally obligated to like it and then change your account and like it again so your likes count as two. And then donate me $50 <laughs> for not being in the live. Yeah, so, you know, the choice is yours. 10 a.m. Friday in Singapore. 10 a.m. Well, I mean, it's like at the beginning of the day. It's kind of weird. No, I mean, like, obviously I understand what time zones are, but... It's kind of weird thinking about, like, how when your day is ending at the exact same time someone's day is just beginning. A little bit weird. I never really think about it. Like, when I think my day is starting, I just kind of in my head. What did I say? What did I say that prompted another wow? Usually, ooh, I just bit my cheek really hard. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> I have pretty sharp teeth. That was, that was such a, mm, I guess saying usually was the, was the dangerous word. From now on, I need a mouth guard whenever I say usually. Something to put in my teeth. Yeah, <laughs> it's bleeding. Hmm, nice. All right, so you can kind of see. Like, oh, and by the way, the feathers, it doesn't matter what they look like now because literally all I'm going to do after is uh, just paint a whole line across and then add tiny details after. <laughs> yeah, crunch. What, did you hear it? That's the noise it made. Here, I'll, uh, hmm. That's kind of gross, actually. Maybe I should stop talking about the, the sound my cheek made when I bit through it. Yeah, so essentially what I'm going to do is uh, to make the feathers is layer this one in, excuse me, sorry, this layer first and then this layer after. So this is layered on top of this. It's kind of like hair. It's like in layers. Uh, so these feathers, oh, that actually makes it a little bit lighter. Now oh, there's no point in me doing that. Uh, these feathers across here. And these feathers across here are first. So like where this ends is one row of feathers. And then after is another smaller, but like, I mean, it's implied that the feathers are longer and they're going through. So those feathers are gonna be lighter. These are gonna be darker because they're overlapping. And then this is gonna be like an orange. So I think I have enough shadows for now. I could add a tiny bit more. Maybe I should pull this tripod up a bit so you guys can see a little bit more. Is that better? I feel like you can see more of the painting now. It actually, you know, it looked a little weird before I had, before I had the, the bird in here. It just looked like a hand. Why are you drawing a hand? Oh, because I wanna. You're gonna judge me anymore? Yeah, these are pretty much the colors I wanted actually. I'm pretty happy with this. Um, oh, that's right. I needed to do the beak. I noticed something was missing on his little bird face. So I'm going to use yellow and I'm going to mix it in this color here, gray. Well, I mean, I could have just said gray. You guys know, <laughs> you guys might know the color, you know, that's my, that's my specialty. I'm really good at making brown and gray on my canvas, especially when I don't mean to. Dad's watching and he says it looks really good. Hmm. Oh, I think you... I think you accidentally uh, added the other Steven in the live chat. Yeah, well, I'm glad he... 
I'm glad he likes it. He, you know, if he didn't like it, it would be, <laughs> it would be kind of weird if he didn't. Well, not like if he didn't, but if he like messaged it on here, he would never do that. I don't think he would ram me with a, with a go-kart though. He did do that. Right, dad? Remember that? We remember. All right. I uh, have, well, you guys can see here. I have created what I think is a good color for the beak. And this is the shadow. Again, I always start with the shadow because I feel like it, it helps build it up the most. Yeah, I was gonna say you, yeah, so you definitely did. No, you're not like, I mean, hmm. Now that looks a little off, doesn't it? Maybe a tiny bit, but then again, I mean, I'm still in the very first stage. So it's allowed to look off for now. Hmm. Wait, how do you highlight the name? Actually, that's right. Did? Oh, I see. So it's not highlighted for me, but it is. Oh, I think it's when, when a moderator ats someone, it, it highlights it. I think that's what you're asking, right? What I mean by ats, I think you guys, you guys probably know. You guys most definitely know. I don't, I... I I over explain everything. I mean, I'd be, I'd be a decent teacher then, I guess. Actually, no, if I'm ever a teacher, like I need someone to come and smack me. I mean, like, I understand why my mom wants to be a teacher because she's good with kids, but I've seen the chaos that kids cause. I mean, I guess maybe it's just older kids. More chaotic. Uh, oh, I see. So when you add someone and highlights their name, that makes sense. All right. So I need gray here because that is standing out way more than I'd want it to. And maybe black, actually. I think I'll add some black here. And if I made the beak a little bit slimmer here... There, that looks a little better. Looks a little better already. Like, so, and the nostril would be right about there. And I will reshape it eventually, just not right now, because I'm, because I don't wanna. And you can't make me. <sighs> yeah, that's right, told you. I told you guys. And since this leg is down more, I'm gonna add a little more shadows here. And a little more here. Oh, I see. Oh, it looks like it highlighted it. I can see the, uh, I can see the highlight. Maybe it's different for, uh, for you. When, when you say highlight, does it just mean like when it's uh, slightly brighter, when it's like white? Because if so, then I see the highlight. But if it's not, eh, then I do not. I, th I think, oh, I think it does have to do with the moderator. Let's see. Uh, it only highlights for the person that you write it to. Oh, so you have to like, I think you have to add and then, and then write something else after the add. Oh, they mean the name. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad you explained it before I went on for too long. Yeah, I'm so helpful. You're welcome, guys. I totally helped you figure that out. Uh, whatever. I do that. A I do that a lot. You know, I think I'm so helpful. And then I'm talking about like the completely wrong thing. I hope that's not just me that does that. You know, I'd imagine it might might not be a very large demographic of people who do that ex very exact thing. Might just be me. I'm a little weird. All right, so uh, like I said before, I'm just gonna create the shape of the or create the shape of the feather. I I 
think I said that before. For the, yeah, I did. For the first layer here. And then I'm going to come in and do another layer after. Let's see. Oh, you guys are seeing like different backgrounds. I don't, I don't have that. Maybe it's because my phone is in dark mode. Excuse me. It's starting to look like it could be passed off as a bird. You know, if you gave this painting to like a, a very visually impaired person and then you told them to squint and turned it upside down and told them to guess what it was, they might say, a bird. Now let's see. Oh yeah, by the way, I just saw a little notification pop up and it reminded me, if you like the video, you know, like and, uh, like and subscribe, you know, if you want, but mostly you have to. You don't, since you're here, you don't have a choice. You, you gotta, it's the rules. Yeah, if you like and subscribe, it actually does really help my channel. And, you know, you can always unsubscribe if you, if you get bored. It's completely free. I sound like one of those, like, like and subscribe, guys. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I think it, <laughs> that's a, that's a really good like and subscribe checkpoint kind of thing that I'm going to start putting in my videos. I can tell you, I can tell you guys are all very enthusiastic about it. All right. So, yeah, it's actually starting to look like a bird. I'm pretty happy with it since I had no plan going in besides bird, and that's about it. And, oh, and the reason I'm making the tail so dark is because, first of all, it's underneath the hand, which is going to be creating a sort of a shadow. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just going to stand on my... Ugh, whoops. No, I didn't make any mistake. I just felt my paintbrush touch the the thing while I went up. Uh, I'm standing I'm standing on my stool right now. It's kind of high up. I gotta I'm like my stool is already at desk length, so it's like I'm standing on a more rickety, unstable desk. That's right. I'm a genius. I know what I'm doing. And I'm still painting like that. What am I doing? I didn't even think about it. When I'm in the zone, I'm really in the zone, apparently. All right, let's see. I missed a comment. Only 45 likes. Now everyone here, go like it. I think I'm at 96 likes now. That was really cool. Oh, let's see. Oh, 97 now. Yeah, you get, thank you guys all very much, actually. That went up really fast. I hear walking. Yeah, when you're in the basement, or, you know, when I'm in the basement, you guys can hear it possibly. You hear basically every single footstep that's taken. So, you know, on the plus side, I would be really good at, like, I'm, <laughs> I'm the free burglary, burglary detection system. You know? If I hear someone walking upstairs, I might, I might hear it. I also might just assume it's like one of my family members and go back to sleep. That's that chance. I'm not a very reliable, yeah, not a very reliable burglary uh, detection system. I'm risking my life to create this painting. <laughs> I mean, maybe. It depends on, like, exactly how I manage to, like, fall. Because, I yeah, I do that a lot. I probably shouldn't. My head, like, when I stand on that, my head touches the roof when I'm bent over. So, like, if I, I couldn't stand up any further, my, like, right now while I'm just standing, my head's about this far, this far from the ceiling. You know? So, when I do that, it's, like, really, it's extra cool because I'm, like, super flexible. You guys just can't see it. Just imagine it's awesome. Should I do a ceiling reveal? No, people have seen my ceiling before. It's the coolest ceiling ever. It's got, like... I think it's got I think it's got paint on it. That wasn't me. I don't know how that got there. I actually don't know how I did that. No, that, I don't think that was me. 
That wasn't me. Can you stand on your head and paint while the stool... Oh, wait. If you can stand on your head and paint while on the stool, that would be really impressive. Hmm. You know what? I feel like you're trying to get me killed, and I don't appreciate it, but at the same time, I do want to try it. Like, just like even as a joke, I do want to try it. How would I do... Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Send my dad with a helmet. Okay, if... If this video gets to 200 likes, if this video gets to 200 likes, I will attempt to do a handstand. I don't know how I'm going to film that, though. I don't know if I can paint while doing a handstand. I can try. <laughs> I have a mini fridge in the middle of the floor right now. I don't know if I actually could. Okay, if this video gets 200 likes in my next video, because I can't do it now, I will do a handstand and try to paint at the same time. And yeah, I pray this video does not get to 200 likes. Actually, it's going to. I mean, like now, not like during the live, not like, uh, <laughs> not like after because like then I, oh, that's fine. If this video gets 200 likes, I will do it. And it doesn't matter when it gets the likes. I will I'll do my best. Uh, I don't I don't know what I I probably shouldn't have committed to something like that. Probably shouldn't have. That's going to need some circus music. Hey. You're right. It would. I have a I have a really good playlist. Just like <laughs> I have a playlist made specifically for when I decide to do a handstand and also try to paint at the exact same time. It sounds a little bit like a... Uh... Oh, I can't do that because it's a... Uh... Copyright. I don't think... Can I get in trouble for, like, copyright if I... No, probably not. I'm still not gonna... Still not gonna hum it, though. All right, so... Oops. It's starting to look like a bird, I think. The eyes on the bird look so serious. It really does look sharp. Yeah, on like hawks and stuff, they look mean. They are mean looking birds or like super intense. Like they just saw something really surprising. Like they're terrified. They look like, uh... <laughs> yeah, they look like if you just told the bird that like, what? Yeah, they look like if you just told the bird what hot dogs were made out of and the bird was like a human that just ate a hot dog. For the first time that is, the first time I found out what hot dogs are made out of, I felt like genuinely sick. Looks like toothpaste. Meat paste. Mmm. Meat paste. And it's like gray too. You guys should all look it up. It's a really cool video. You should all look up what hot dogs are made of. Make sure you eat a lot right before too. That's what I did. <laughs> Let's see. I saw a video on how to do a handstand. It takes about three months to train the body to do so. I guess it's not as easy as it looks. I used to try to do it. Three months. I mean, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm like crazy strong. I could probably do it in three minutes. I think that'll make more of an interesting video. I said I would attempt to though. So I guess I was already kind of thinking that I probably wouldn't be able to do it. I love hot dogs too much to see what they're made of. Yeah, that's fair. You know, if you want to continue eating what they are, you know, never really knowing what they truly are made of, then that's your choice. Just know it's uh, it's an experience you're really missing out on. I think everyone should experience the, the joy of seeing what hot dogs are made out of. And that, that little clunk was me dropping my paint on myself. Yeah, it's uh, it didn't get on my clothes, so I'm fine. <laughs> All right, I am mixing a lighter brown in my white paint because the white paint's already almost empty here, so I can start adding a tiny bit more color instead of it being just so gray and white. Excuse me. Even though uh, most falcons are. are this is a hawk. I called it a falcon so many times. It's a hawk. 
You wouldn't be able to tell because I haven't called it a hawk enough times. Ugh, excuse me, I've, I probably called it a falcon this entire time. I corrected myself already once and then I went back to calling it a falcon. No, it's a hawk. It is a hawk. Yeah, basically, like, although they are pretty gray, black, and white, like, they're not crazy colorful, I still think it would be pretty cool to, like, try to make it pretty, pretty colorful, I think, would be best. Also, what, okay, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm, I'm still going to go for, like, a detailed look, but at the same time, I want the feathers to, like, to not really end. I want them to, like, end at, like, well, obviously end, but, like, come to a bit of a point, and then start dripping down. That would be cool. Kind of like the watercolor effect, you know, when it's like dripping? I did a few. Hold on, I'll get the tiger painting again. I'll show you basically exactly what I mean. Like this, except more. Like, uh, drips like these. That's acrylic. Making acrylic drip and trying to make it look good at the same time is way harder of a task than I thought it would be. For anyone who's tried that, <laughs> I salute you. It was not very easy, especially since I was using like dollar store paint. This is in, in my class. We have like little trays of, I mean, the, the paint isn't that bad. It just like, it's not great. The water solubility of it is pretty bad. You know, I still use it though. I figured it out. I think I deserve a medal for doing that. That would make an interesting video trying to dissolve water into this really cheap, incredibly f infuriating painting. And then like halfway through the video, you just see like a panning shot of me chucking a canvas across the room out of rage. I haven't done that yet. I've never gotten that mad at a painting. I've gotten pretty frustrated. Like, especially with the, uh, with the infamous, uh, the infamous ramen live I'm not gonna go into any more detail, but for those who were there, I keep bringing it up. You know, you're veterans of this channel. You got to witness, <laughs> you got to witness like my worst painting and at the same time, like my worst pain during a video ever. And I thought it was a good idea for me to put like the hottest hot sauce ever in with the hottest noodles in the world. Uh, that was fun. I should do that again. I I should do that again. That'll that'll be a an interesting live to say the least. I think it would be pretty interesting. All right. So I'm going to do some more detail on the feathers here to kind of bring it all together. Uh and then and then that's basically going to be it for this live feed only because like <laughs> you love that video, huh? Yeah. I probably should have left it up like, and then like retitled it or something like the most interesting live feed I've ever made. But I feel like the shame, like the absolute shame of that video existing overpowered any kind of like desire to keep that on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, ghost peppers. That's what, that's what the sauce was made out of that I put in it. And then that's also what the noodles had in it already. So I had like, Double ghost pepper. That was fun. A lot of fun. You could tell by the you could tell by my tears. All right. Feathers. Feathers. They're not actually that hard to paint until you want to paint one up close. Feathers, I mean, they're a, little, they're a little finicky. But, like, once you got it, it's pretty much just a bunch of, like, overlapping lines. You figure it out. I tried to paint one up close. Those things are really detailed. And they're super symmetrical, too. So, like, if you mix it up at all, you can definitely tell. Yeah. If you like being really frustrated, you should, you should try painting feathers. Up close, that is. All right, so this is just one side, and I'm, to make it look like it's not just all in like one random direction, I mean, they would technically be in like one specific direction, but I don't want it to look like it's 
Oh, let's see. Let's play the server spicy food. Oh, wait. You have spicy food with sour cream. Oh, that's actually pretty smart. Yeah, I I just had like, I had nothing. I had to, uh, I had to live with my mistakes. I eat those pepper, or I eat those noodles like on a daily-ish basis now. Like I've just recently had it. They're good, they taste really good. I like them a lot. You know, I think the taste is worth the incredible searing, fiery pain of fireness. They're good. Yeah, that's an ancient, what a weird topic. I keep getting into this topic. How many, how often do I bring up that live feed? If I'm so ashamed of it, I should stop bringing it up. All right, I am essentially just adding a little bit of color in with the feathers. And then I'm going to leave it until next live feed because I can already tell I'm about to tickle this painting to death. And I think I need, yeah, I mentioned that before. It's a weird expression. It basically means I'm going to start adding way too many details while it's not ready and then watch the painting slowly die in front of my eyes. Watch all, all my hard work dissolve. It's like kind of watching a ticking time bomb, really. I can feel... It, like, I, I guess, like, the second I start making, like, more and more mistakes, I know I probably should stop. That's why I'm stopping, you know, not this very second, because, you know, I, <laughs> I gotta do a little bit more. I can stop anytime I want, I swear. What do you mean? All right, this is pretty much exactly what I wanted to do today. Like, this has actually turned out way better than I thought it would. I didn't think it would turn out, like, bad, but it turned out pretty good. I didn't get any, like, super close to the glove yet, which I probably should. If I fill it out, it'll complete the whole thing. But, yeah, this is what we have so far. I think I'm going to do another live feed. Let's say on a... Um, maybe not tomorrow, because I do have a unit exam. We'll see. I'll update you guys. It'll be very soon because I do, I really, really want to finish this. I'm pretty happy with it. All right. Thank you guys all very much for watching. Uh, hold on. I'm, I'm going to hold it up with the front facing camera. Hold on. First, I need to fix that. Nope, made it worse. This is kind of what we got. I think it looks pretty interesting. This is my first drawing that actually, you know, besides that one, Oh, it's over there. Of the face that I showed you guys uh, two days ago. Uh, this is my first drawing that has like a person in with the animal, which I mean, I probably should have done before. But yeah, I mean, it's turning out pretty good. I'm probably, yeah, I think I'm, I'm probably going to keep this one for a while. All right. Uh, that's going to end the live feed then. Thank you guys. Oops. <laughs> that's a good way. A good way to end it. I'm going to have to wipe that up. I, I should probably seal the caps on my paint tube before I put them on the on the side. Thank you guys all very much for watching my video. Uh, I'm, I hope it turned out well. I hope you guys liked it. I will be back soon. And until next time, bye.